Hey there, it's Marita, and today I wanted to share something with you that I discovered last month right as a bald eagle drives, drives, <laughs> flies overhead. First of all, if um, you're catching this on the replay, I would love it if you'd put hashtag replay. Um, I want to share something that I learned about last, last month. I'd heard about it, and you know, life is busy and you get distracted and you just, you don't grab on fast enough, right? And then one day my daughter, she sent me a text with some photographs. Look what I got today. And I'm like, cool, where did you get that? And she said, my local buy nothing group. And I'm like, well, what is that? And then that it came to the surface. And so I wanted to tell you what a buy nothing group is because it has really kind of changed my view on so many different things, on giving, receiving, um, acceptance, uh, um, abundance, um, community. What's unique about this organization, I don't know how it works like when you go to the website, but how it works here on Facebook is you search by nothing and then your city and if you're in a larger city like i'm in a larger suburban city um, it's broken up into more than one group and you can only belong to one which i found really wonderful interesting um but the there's so many cool things in fact i just have to write a note so i don't forget to tell you um uh, what I like about that is that you're not driving all over town for these things that you're picking up. So how it works is after you've been, you know, you go and you find your local group, your local city with the whatever, like I'm in the west side of a suburb, um, and then they let you in. You have to give your cross streets, at least I did. And then you go into the group and there's photographs, you know, give, and then they have a photograph of something or they'll have um, in search of. And so you coming into the group, you can um, look at what's available and go, God, I could use that. Or literally, I've been wanting that. And just to give you an idea, um, I don't like to shop. So that's Number one, I don't, I don't like to shop. I just find it to be ugh, not pleasant unless it's books or crystals. Then I'm very happy shopping. But um, what I had really been needing for quite some time was a new, you know, those plastic mats under your desk. Um, I really needed a new one, but that meant going to like a big store, you know, like Home Depot or Sam's or Costco or things like that. Well, someone was giving one away that was literally brand new. And so it's, it's amazing. So I did, I did receive that. And she was actually nice enough to bring it out to my car rather than leaving it at the door. So it teaches you the art of receiving. And that might sound really kind of odd, but a lot of us have a hard time with receiving like thank you is all that's required um i'm going to be a new grandma and someone was literally giving away a crib with a mattress and i had already been teased by my son-in-law like well where's the baby gonna go and why isn't it gonna go in this room where i'm sitting right now it's like well because that's my room you know but um for a crib that i could use for at least I'm imagining two years, if not longer, depending on the child and all of these things, how, if they're gonna be stinkerly and crawl out, you know, climb out of the out of the crib. But at any rate, it was like, well, if I had a crib that I didn't have to pay for, and I could use for a, a season, I would find room in this space for him, for it. So, and not only that, they actually, well, then we had this giant ass snowstorm and then after the storm, they brought it over and they delivered it. I mean, that's just like going above and beyond. That is like 
the art of receiving and the giving like that was way beyond anything that they needed to do so um that's that's one of the aspects that um you you put something out that you're looking for that you have i should say you you look at what the listings if you will you look to see what they have but the other thing is is i i'm not a garage sailor i'm not i don't like cheap if i have a really nice something that's let's just say that literally the sale value is 20 bucks because it's a hundred and fifty dollar pair of shoes and you can't give me you're gonna dicker around for 20 bucks i would literally prefer giving it away to somebody else and so this outlet gives me that opportunity to do that and I the, the cool thing is for me then as the giver it makes me feel so I mean I am not kidding I am so happy when I know that someone has picked up this item and sometimes I get the story behind why they're um, why they need this or why they're you know however it's just so it makes me feel so abundant that I can give something that has such value to someone who can use it and desires it so that's the other thing and then the and then the third aspect is the in search of the ISO so if you're looking for a specific something and before you make the trip to the store, you might just put in there, I'm looking for this, what you got? Like the other day, someone was, um, she showed a, a jam jar that had a really unique shape and she was looking for that kind of a shape or if not that actual jam brand bottle or jar um, for um, crafts. And I had something very similar. And so I said, I have, I took a picture and I, I said, I have six of these. Do you want these? And she said, yes. So they were like in my cupboard because I could use them as a little, like a four ounce glass to drink some juice or whatever, but she was going to use them in a project. So I offered them to her. So, and then with the baby showers that are coming up, I did the same thing. I, I put out uh, in search of, I'm looking for baby shower gift paper or bags. And <laughs> the thread was like 20 comments deep so um another uh, you know to it's a way to graciously learn how to receive and um the stories are just so wonderful i just that's just so cool how you get to know people and the other thing that i really appreciated about it because it is in your neighborhood on your like side of the tracks so to speak it's your neighborhood and you get to really learn what I call the pockets, the little neighborhoods. I used to sell real estate and I just, I've never learned my city as much as I have <laughs> since I've been playing with this. So it's really, really fun. And um, I, I would encourage you uh, to play with this. And the other thing is it's, it, you know, it saves it from the landfill. What do we do? We, we toss it, right? Like I could have taken those little glass, glass jar thingies and I could have put them in the recycling, but she could use it for whatever she was going to do for a project. So there's so many good things about this. It's learning the art of giving and receiving, accepting the kindness of others, and it's also very sustainable. So I would really encourage you to, um, to play around with this organization. Let's see. Let's, I want to make sure I covered everything. Oh, the other thing is like when I put out um, that ISO on the baby wrap, because the, the comments were very abundant, um, people actually messaged me privately. Did you get what you need? Do you have enough? I have some if you need some. Um, so there's just that, it, 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 mm, it gives you that hope for humanity. And if we're stuck in that rut of watching the news all the time, it just is it can get so discouraging but when you're just tapped into you know the realness of your fellow people in your neighborhood it just it takes on a completely different nuance so um that's really what i wanted to share and i encourage you i put the link um in the comments for the organization if you want to go learn about that uh but also if you 
play around like search here on on facebook you know buy nothing and then whatever part of this you know whatever city you're in and see how it's broken up into east you know east west north south whatever and how that might impact you and um and have fun with it it's just it's an amazing amazing thing so that's all i have for you today i wanted to just share that and bring you some value on something that um has really really pivoted how i think about so many different things that we just all talked about. So I will see you another time. Bye-bye.